when we started uh, developing computer games. We had an idea of an RPG, R uh, RTS mixture, where you can control uh, your soldiers in units, unlike the, uh, in other traditional uh, RTS games. We know that many are comparing our games to the Creative Assembly titles and I can say that we are very flattered by that comparison because uh, they are good and innovative strategy games and to have some things in common with such games can't be a disadvantage. But those games wanted to retell history and uh, our aim, quite on the contrary, is to create a memorable fantasy world uh, with legends and mythology and that is what, what we did with King Arthur 1. King Arthur 2 uses a brand new engine uh, developed by our studio. It's called the Cortex 2 engine and it makes possible that players will see even larger scale battles in King Arthur 2 than in King Arthur 1 uh, with up to three or four thousand soldiers at a time. And uh, the animation system is hugely upgraded and there are great changes in the unit and army movement as well. In King Arthur 2, we have introduced a lot of new features and changed many, many elements. For example, on the campaign map, we put more stress on the RPG management part and in the battles, players will uh, be able to apply a more tactical uh, gameplay due to the planned changes in the RPG strategy balance. And in, uh, the campaign map of King Arthur 2 will be twice as big as the map in King Arthur 1. Uh, representing not only the southern parts of Britannia, but uh, the middle and the northern parts as well. Moreover, we will introduce a brand new magic resistance and spellcasting system in King Arthur 2 that makes uh, possible for the players to take some precautions and defend themselves against powerful magic. And there are many additional features in King Arthur 2, like flying monsters, uh, a lot of additional fantasy creatures, a diplomacy system that you can communicate with other rulers uh, in Britannia and you will uh, be able to forge artifacts, forge new artifacts from the unused ones or uh, convert them to experience points and uh, you will have some unique special heroes above your regular heroes and they will be tied closely to the story of the game. This game has a lot uh, of unique elements that set it apart from other games in the industry. And the most important is, of course, that it's a role-playing war game, a unique and balanced blend of RPGs and strategy games. All in all, I can say that uh, in King Arthur 2 we changed uh, the weaker parts uh, of the first game, we kept the good and added many, many new.